guys. I just wanted to quickly let you know that this will be my last primary video on my YouTube channel. I've been doing these videos for almost a year now since we haven't been able to meet as a primary in person. But now our stake primary presidency has asked all of the ward primaries to start doing singing time and class lessons through Zoom calls. So we're going to transition over to that, which I think is going to help us transition over to getting to meet in person again every week. Won't that be so much fun? So this will be my last YouTube video, but these videos will always be up on my channel if you ever want to go back and revisit some of the songs we've learned over the last year. I invite you to play those videos anytime. This has been so much fun and I've really enjoyed making these videos every week. But it will also be a fun change to get to see your faces again, even if it's just through my phone. So this week, we've been reading about the organization of the church. Just what does that mean? Well, here's the story. Joseph Smith was living in the town of Fayette in the state of New York. Jesus told Joseph it was time for his true church to be on earth again. He told Joseph to organize the church. On 6 April 1830, Joseph held a meeting to organize the church. Oliver Cowdery, Hiram Smith, Samuel Smith, David Whitmer, and Peter Whitmer came to help him. They had all been baptized. Other people also came to the meeting. The men prayed to Heavenly Father. Joseph ordained Oliver an elder in the church. Then Oliver ordained Joseph. Joseph and Oliver blessed the sacrament. They gave it to the men. Joseph and Oliver put their hands on each man's head to confirm him a member of the Church of Jesus Christ and give him the gift of the Holy Ghost. Joseph and Oliver ordained some of the other men to the priesthood. These men were very happy. They said they loved God and told how he had blessed them. Jesus gave a revelation to Joseph Smith at the meeting. Jesus said Joseph was a prophet. A true prophet speaks for Jesus. When a prophet speaks for Jesus, members of the church should listen to him and obey him. After the meeting, many people were baptized, including Joseph Smith's mother and father. What a wonderful day. The Church of Jesus Christ was on the earth again. So on April 6, 1830, that was a long time ago, that's when the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints officially became a church. Isn't it interesting that that's around the same date we have General Conference every year in April? You know, something that I have always loved about the organization of this church is that no matter where you go, anywhere in the world, if you walk into a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints meeting house, on a Sunday, you'll be getting the same lesson that everyone else is having all over the world. And I love that. I love that we're all on the same page because we're all under the same leadership. Everything is organized. And I think it helps us feel more united. Back then, in 1830, it was a very small church with just a few people. But today, in the year 2021, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is all over the world. But because it's organized, I think it helps us feel united. And even though we're spread out all over this great big earth, it feels like we're one close family. And I love that. Now when you get baptized, you officially become a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And what's so great about that? Well, that puts us on the path that helps prepare us to live with God again. In fact, there's a song all about this, and I'm pretty sure we've sang it before. It's called The Church of Jesus Christ. Let's go over the words again. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll honor
matter his name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light. His truth I will proclaim. It is so true, you guys. When you become a member of Jesus Christ's church, you take on his name and you represent him everywhere you go in all that you do. So every time you do what's right and you follow in his light and you teach people about his truth and his gospel, it helps others want to learn more about Jesus Christ and they can feel his love and his truth through you. That's what's so awesome about belonging to Jesus Christ's church. We get to help bring other people to him and invite them to also join the path to prepare to live with God again. And I think that's awesome. Okay, are you ready to sing this song? Should we sing it with Cambry and Tatum? I think so too. And Cambry, if you haven't noticed, smile. She got braces this week. So this will be her first time singing with braces.
cool. So every Sunday, we take what's called the sacrament, the bread and the water. When we get baptized, we make a covenant, a promise with the Lord that we will always remember Him. So every Sunday, when we take the bread and the water, that helps us remember Him. And it helps us keep our end of the promise. And in return, the Lord promises that we will always have His Spirit to be with us. Something I love to think about when I'm taking the sacrament, when I see that white tablecloth draped over the bread and the water, it reminds me of this picture. It makes me think of Jesus' body laying in the tomb after he died. The bread symbolizes his broken body when he died on the cross for us, and the water symbolizes the blood that he spilt when he atoned for all of our sins. That's pretty special. So I feel a special reverence every time I see that and I take the bread and the water. You know, Cambry and Tatum like to play church. They like to turn the basement into a church. They play music, they give talks, they say prayers, and that helps prepare them for Sunday and for taking the sacrament, something that they love to do. I, th I know that this is true and I know that we can teach each other the gospel anytime I say the name of Christ, amen. And I bear my testimony that the, that the church is true in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. testimony with you today that I know the restored gospel of Jesus Christ is on the earth today and that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the Lord's true church. This is his gospel, his church, and that's why it bears his name. And I know that when we're baptized and we take on his name as a member of his church and we do our best to make good choices every day and to help other people feel his love and we share his truth, we will help bring other people to him. And that makes him so happy. I know this is true and I say it in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Thank you so much for singing with me today, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.